Hey, what's up guys? Justin with T1 Tactical. Today I want to take a look at five of my most recent carried EDC fixed blades. Now if you see my last video, you may know that these may not necessarily be my favorites, but these are the ones I just happened to grab a little more than others here recently. That being said, number five, Topps Bull Trout. Beautiful stone wash finish, burlap micarta scales, 154 cm blade, nice nice jimping here on the spine I gotta say the ergonomics on this blade are absolutely amazing tops definitely hit it out of the park with this one the sheath fits it absolutely perfectly won't fall out is it too hard to deploy great little EDC fixed blade some people may not like the sheath but honestly I really like it it's not too big doesn't get in the way you know you sit down you don't have it poking up or pushing up on the blade anything like that definitely a great EDC option number four the Bark River Ringtail CPM 154 blade nice satin finish which almost looks hand rubbed in a way which I know it's not but has the black linen micarta scales beautiful red liners Ergonomics are really really good on it. You can actually grab it with the ring or without In case you need to do a little bit more detail work that this may not cover Definitely a great little blade. I Actually uh, love karambits. So this one was definitely a must for me The sheath is the standard EDC sized bark river leather sheath Fits in great. Has a little magnet in there, so it's definitely not going to fall out. This is actually the same sheath they use for the JX6. So, uh, Bark River tends to do that. I've noticed, you know, if a knife fits it, they'll use that style sheath. Which, in my opinion, I like to see something different on each knife. But, you know, I understand totally why they do it. Anyway... It's definitely a great little EDC fix blade. Great size, great steel, no complaints. Number three, the Tactical Edge Trail Boss. I absolutely love this guy here. I love the gator texture here on the scales. Of course, red liners. Nice jimp in here on the back. The trailing point is just awesome for slicing you know it gives you a little bit extra sweep so you get in your push cuts or your drag cuts awesome awesome little blade it's out of uh, Tennessee where this blade came from a guy named Eddie with Tactical Edge makes amazing amazing blades he actually made my T1X blade that I reviewed a few videos back if you haven't seen that check that one out too but 1095, the way he does his heat treat is on point, so not going to have any problems out of this. It's honestly really reminiscent of the Tops 1095. That's just because it, it takes an awesome edge. It holds it for a really long time, and so far it's really strong. I've actually batoned with this thing several times so far, and it's... Honestly, never even had to be resharpened. Definitely check him out. Eddie at Tactical Edge. He'll whip you one up in whatever color you want. Whatever liner, handle, finish. He's got you covered. Alright. The sheath for it. Of course, standard Kydex sheath. A little taco sheath. But he puts the thumb ramp on it. Which is a plus on any Kydex sheath in my opinion. For deploying the knife, it just gives you a little something to bite onto when you're pushing up with it. Of course, he has the uh, tech locks if you want, which I didn't need that, so I just got the standard Kydex loop. Fits perfect, no complaints. Alright, number two is actually a tie. And here's why. <laughs> These are both 
Bark River JX6s. The only difference here is one is in CPM 154 and this one is in my absolute favorite steel L Max. This one here as you can see has the red liners with the black C Tech scales. Ergonomics are awesome. No complaints about this blade whatsoever. This is one of my favorite knives of all time. This one is actually my favorite of all time. The way this knife handles, the way it cuts, I mean everything about it, I absolutely love it. Now the LMAX again is my favorite steel ever. It takes and holds an edge like no other. This here, if you don't know already, was designed by Chris from Prepared Mind 101 which I honestly didn't even know about him when I bought this knife until I did a little bit of research and that's what kind of led me to the whole knife community on YouTube. So uh, shout out to him for that. I've never met the guy. He seems like a cool guy. He definitely nailed it with this design though. I mean it's <laughs> it's it's impressive. If you haven't ever owned one and you have the opportunity to find one in LMAX which they are available Actually, they have some really nice looking ones available right now. If you're able to grab one, you will not regret it. Now, number one and final choice, the Bradford Guardian 3 with natural scales. This one here is in crew wear, has a saber grind, got the black finish because it just looks amazing with the the natural G10 scales have a little lanyard on this one um, this one I, I'll tell you in a second but I got this little lanyard bead from ZNC Metalworks which matches it perfectly now here's the thing the sheath uh, actually I don't even have the original with me the sheath the original sheath is alright it's a cross draw uh, scout carry depends on which hand you are it, it, it's leather it's nice it'll get you by but a while back when I was looking for a black sheath for this I found these this is made by Delta leather which is available on DLTtrading.com has a multi position carry and fits this knife absolutely perfect but the thing was I was looking for a new sheath for this to, you know, broaden my carry options, I guess you could say. And I found out this fits it perfectly. So what I did, I went back to DLT Trading and got one with the Ulti Clip on it, which is a little tight right now. But with this Ulti Clip, you could pretty much stick that thing anywhere. IWB. Uh, you stick it in your back pocket, front pocket. It's, options are unlimited with the Ulti Clip. Fits this knife perfectly, almost too perfect. You know, it does sit in deep. That's kind of why I got the lanyard on it. But me, that wouldn't be a problem, except for this knife is actually on loan to me <laughs> by my beautiful wife. This is her EDC fixed blade but I've been carrying it. This little guy is absolutely amazing though. Great ergonomics. I honestly thought this was going to be a bit small. I knew it would fit her hands, but once I got my hands on it, felt that choil there and just the way it sat in my hands, I was impressed. So I've carried this a lot here recently. And, you know, I absolutely have no complaints on it. Anyway, that is my top five most recent EDC fixed blade carries. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't yet, check me out on Instagram. Subscribe, like, share, comment. Send it to your mom, send it to your dad. Whatever you can do to help the channel. It's always, always appreciated. Till the next one, stay safe out there. See you guys then.